want to give it a kidney to my son. You know, that's more important for me in my life. Give it a new life for him, you know. I probably ever since I was 18 now. I knew I got had a kidney, so I was just waiting and waiting. We've been here since 5.30 and just watching the time just go by slowly. I had two hours of sleep because I was just tossing and turning. First time when they said he's gonna need a kidney, he said, here, take mine. It's like one of those one in a million jackpots. He keeps saying, I'm, I'm the one, and I'm the one, and I want to give it to you. a piece of him that's inside me now so he's like really my father because I always had that bond with him that I knew there was something more there was a point there was a point when the doctor said you know what you have one year to live uh, but he was very sick and um, he didn't want to continue his life he said I've been through a lot it was hard it was hard I went to a point where you know what I give up I was drinking so much pills that it would just burn out my esophagus and I had some ulcers. And I would just cough up blood and everything. Uh, a lot of people came to me, you know, you can't give up. Look beside you, there's a child that you need to take care of. Yes, because they wouldn't quit on me, even though I was down, depressed. Oh yeah, I couldn't sleep. I, I really was sleeping like one hour a day and I couldn't, I stopped eating. I stopped eating because I couldn't eat. You don't know what to do. Pills are just opening the, opening another door, closing one door, you know, it solves one problem but it causes another. Actually, he came to me and he said, Mom, am I going to take the pills? and please take care of my daughter. And, you know, there was a chance, so they still put that beside and pushed me along. do it for your daughter because it's on you you really really want to fight you can fight for that and we want to find the kidney i don't know how long it's going to take but we want to find it we try everything everything they say go to this doctor go to the other doctor we went and i keep saying please god don't don't, don't let him die, you know. Give us the opportunity. And... But no more dialysis, no more, you know, no more being drained out of energy, no more having problems at work. Yeah, it's very amazing. I got very, very lucky. Right now I'm just a little bit dizzy with the medications, but I feel better. I feel a lot better. When I went in, I just had two things on my mind. How much it would hurt, and I hope my dad is okay. I feel very happy that he did this for me and gave me a, a longer lifespan. Finally seeing my daughter get raised, you know, seeing her, because, uh, you know, I couldn't even be there to see her walk. I miss that when I get to see her, she's already walking, already saying her first words. To watch my daughter grow, I'm just very generous to what he did. They say it's going to be a normal life. Well, for me, since 16, I don't really know, not sure what's a normal life, you know, but... It feels great. It feels really great.